When you think of carbohydrates, you may imagine foods like bread, pasta, and rice. But even some healthier choices might surprise you when it comes to carb content. First, we should mention a slice of bread contains 14 grams of carbs, and a serving of pasta contains 15. Now, Lee, here's some trivia for you. How many grams of carbs do you think are in one serving of low-fat yogurt? You're going to put me on the spot here, on the aren't spot, you? Right Thank here, you yes. very much. Um, and I don't have these answers in advance because I'm obviously going to get them wrong right here. Um, 12? No. No? Much more. Much more? 18 grams. Oh. How about one apple? One apple? So I'm going to go higher than. I'm going to go like 18. It's higher than, higher 18, than 18 at 25 grams in an apple. Did you know that before you were? I didn't. Okay, you researched this too. Yes. Okay, I feel just a little <laughs> better by not knowing that. While carbohydrates are a staple of American diets, research shows people who want to lose weight may want to consider cutting carbs. Reporter Viv Williams shows us why. The calories in, calories out model has been around for a long time. It's called the energy balance model. Dr. William Yancey, an obesity expert from Duke University, says it may work for many people, but not for everybody. There's a new model out there that's called the, um, the carbohydrate insulin model that a number of us um, uh, who research in this area have proposed. Duke endocrinologist Dr. William Yancey says this model of weight loss focuses on how a hormone, specifically insulin, responds to the type of food you eat. If you eat a higher carbohydrate, particularly processed carbohydrate, then that's going to raise your blood sugar and that's going to raise your insulin. And insulin is a hormone that um, causes people to gain weight. It, it's a hormone that tells our body to store fat, not burn fat. High carbohydrate foods include white rice, bread, pasta, crackers, highly processed prepackaged foods, sugary drinks, and sweet treats like cakes and cookies. Yancey says reducing the amount of carbs you eat may make losing weight easier. The typical American has about 200 to 300 grams of carbohydrate per day. So somebody who's having 300 grams of carbohydrate a day, that obviously is a lot of um, starch and sugars probably and a lot of sodas. Those people can benefit by going down to 200. Yancey says carbohydrates are not essential nutrients, so you don't need a whole lot of them. Reducing carbohydrates lowers your blood sugar, lowers your insulin levels, you're able to start burning your fat, you have more energy, you're able to move more. Yancey says weight loss is really hard, but the carbohydrate insulin method is a recipe that may make it a little easier for some people. With this Medical Mythbuster, I'm Viv Williams.